Let's begin with changing from batteries to the mobile power unit. First, make sure that the mobile power unit green power light is on. With the patient cable connectors within easy reach and the battery clips and attached batteries removed from your Go Gear wearable accessory, check both batteries to see how much power remains. If one battery has less power than the other, be sure to change that one first. If both batteries have the same amount of power remaining, you may switch either first. Next, unscrew the white connector from its battery clip. The power cable disconnect alarm sounds and the connect power message displays on the screen. This is normal. Connect the white system controller power cable to the white mobile power unit patient cable connector by lining up the half circles with the pins pushing the connectors together snugly, and then hand tightening the connection. The alarm will stop. Caution, when aligning the pins, do not twist the connection as this could damage the pins. Next, unscrew the black connector from its battery clip. The power cable disconnect alarm sounds again. Connect the black system controller power cable connector to the black mobile power unit patient cable connector in the same manner. Hand tighten the cables only. Never use tools to tighten the connections. As mentioned previously, always connect white to white and black to black. Once the alarm has stopped, press the battery release buttons on the clips to release the batteries and place them in the battery charger to recharge them. Store the battery clips in a clean, dry location until their next use. Let's now learn how to change from the mobile power unit to battery power. First, place two battery clips within easy reach along with two fully charged batteries and the white and black mobile power unit system controller power cable connectors. Place the first battery into a battery clip by lining up the arrows on the battery and battery clip and pushing until the battery clicks into place. Gently pull back on the battery to make sure it is locked in place. Do the same with a second battery and clip. Next, unscrew and disconnect the white system controller power cable from the white mobile power unit patient cable. The power cable disconnect alarm sounds and the connect power message displays on the screen, which is normal. Promptly align the half circles with the pins inside the controller's white power cable and the battery clip connector and firmly push them together, hand tightening until it's secure. The alarm stops when the power cable is connected. Caution: When aligning the pins, do not twist the connection as this could damage the pins. Place the battery and clip into your Go Gear wearable accessory. Next, unscrew and disconnect the black system controller power cable from the mobile power unit patient cable. Again, the power cable disconnect alarm and screen message comes on. Promptly align the controller's power cable and the battery clip connector. The alarm stops once these are connected. Now, place the battery and clip into your Go Gear wearable accessory. Then check the battery power gauge by depressing and releasing the battery button on the system controller. All four bars should light up. Be sure to place two or more additional fully charged batteries in your travel case for backup use. Let's now learn how to change from batteries to batteries. Replacing depleted batteries with a fully charged pair is a routine procedure when you're operating on battery power. With two fully charged batteries within reach, remove a battery and clip from your Go Gear wearable accessory and check the on battery power gauge to see how much power remains. Remove the second battery and clip and check the power on it as well. If they both have the same amount of power remaining, you may switch either battery. However, if one has less power, change that one first. Next, Press the battery release button on the clip and withdraw the battery. 
the power cable disconnect alarm sounds along with a connect power message on the screen. This is normal. Take the new battery, line up its arrow with the arrow on the battery clip, and slide it into place until it clicks. Within a few seconds, the alarm will stop. Gently tug on it to make sure it is firmly in place. Place the clip and battery back into your GoGear wearable accessory. When that is completed, exchange the second battery in the same manner. Place the depleted batteries into the battery charger to recharge them when convenient.